What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. We're here with Arthur and the new Brucey. Yes, it's Brucey, not Stormy. Before I started the episode, I wanted to get a refresher of the last mission. Start Hosea's mission again, since it wasn't really any choices. Besides just stay here or go to the camp with Hosea. But on the way here, the horse... Well... The horse this time is a boy. He's also got a mohawk, so it's pretty freaking awesome. We are on the hunt for the legendary bear, and I would say he is right up here somewhere. Before we head out, let's discuss what has been going on with Red Dead for the past two months. Unfortunately, I hit a bug with Red Dead, and I have not been able to actually record. It was something to do with a Windows 11 update, because I was using Windows 11, which I reverted back to 10. And it's perfectly fine now. I also had an issue with the camera itself. It can go up to 4K. I've been recording it in 4K, but I dropped it down to 2K and it seems to have worked like a charm. So dropping the camera down and then some kind of update with going back to Windows 10 has fixed it. I don't know what Windows 11's beef is with um, Red Dead, but I need to work that shit out. We are good to go. We can expect more Red Dead videos on the daily again. And I can't say I am not happy because I really miss Arthur and the gang. I did. I truly did. I'm so happy that we can actually get back to the game now. Ultimately, what was really going on with it all is I couldn't really record for more than around five minutes. Every time I would record, I would just get dashboarded out the game. It would crash. That was so hard to piece together the game itself. As you know, the game, it just, it changes every time you come back in the game you load back up the game it changes look what happened with the horse the horse was a female the first time we did this now it's a male i would get maybe a cutscene or something and with a random person come back in it's not there anymore it was very hard to piece together but i'm just stoked that it's good to go now so i think we can just go ahead and get out we have a wild carrot can we give the horse? Th Let's give Brucey the wild carrot. Hey, Brucey, you want this carrot? Oh, we can brush Brucey. I did look at the stuff that we skipped last time with that merchant. And it was just cosmetic stuff for the horse. Basically, saddle, the stuff for the saddle. The horse's mane and stuff. Like I said, I got a, uh, a mohawk now for Brucey. He looks pretty awesome. Anyways, come on, let's find this legendary bear before it gets the fuck out of here. There we go, we have something here. We have the shotgun out, I think that's good enough. And then the bow. And I'm pretty nervous. I won't lie. We need to find something to do with a tracker. I remember Pearson saying something about you gotta got check up. We got a trail. Looks away off. Oh no. Focus. There we go. <laughs> what should we pull out? Let's pull the bow out. <laughs> We're gonna fucking hunt it with a bow. This is gonna be scary. Why not? You only live. However many times you want, author, because it is a game. But still. We'll be careful. There's more up here. Yeah, I think Pearson said something about there being a tracker. East, maybe? Young. It's rolling it. Must be close. Mask are sent. Alright. It's definitely close. Let's get down. Oh, I see it. You see it? There it is. Can we actually... Friends, I'm thinking about taking a shot with the bow first. Let's shoot him right in the head. Get the hell back! Get the hell back! Oh. Oh, shit. You have killed a legendary animal. Sell the pelt to the trapper. Who can then craft it 
in a unique outfit. Oh, we just fogged that bear up. Hosea would be proud. <laughs> we destroyed that bear. Pop shot with the bow. Nothing but shotgun to the face. Hey. Let's get him. Let's just get him. Damn, oh, they just fucking picked him right up. <laughs> Boop, excuse me. Look at the size of its leg. Jose said it was like a thousand pounds. Damn. Look at how real this shit is. What are we going to do with the meat? When you skin and pluck an animal and take the meat to the carcass, you can cook the... Oh, well, I got that. Let's look at the compendium of the legendary bear. The legendary Baratty is endemic to O'Craig's Run in the Grizzlies East. This bear is larger than any other that has been spotted in the region. The distinctive scars across his face and body make this creature easily identifiable. As an omnivore, its diet ranges from berries, roots, and grasses to deer, elk, fish, and carrion. Long-range weapons like a long-scope rifle or a bow with improved arrows will give you an advantage when hunting this animal. Killing this animal will give you an opportunity to craft a rare talisman. So do we got the rare talisman? We tracked him, we killed him, we skinned him 100%. Take it in, take it in. All right. Let's, uh... Stow it, hide, and see about... You can harvest all of this animal's parts as you have no space to stow them. Russian space, then making the discard. You cannot harvest. What do you mean? Proceed! What does that mean, we can't harvest? Meaning we can't use its meat. What's up, Brucey? Look what I got here! We've been tracking it! We busted it up! That was a good shot. We got it right behind. Oh, well, I guess we got it above the shoulder, but it's still... Great shot. I ain't dropping this pelt. Let's put it on Brucey. Damn thousand pound... Stow it. Let's stow it on Brucey. And then maybe possibly eat something in our satchel? And see if we can use this bear meat. To be honest, author's kind of... Let's just say it. I think he's getting skinny. Let's look at the character. Player. Arthur. Oh, our weight is average. That's good. Damage taken is minus 4%. Basically. Well, we plus... 4%, 4.5% more damage. So they do 4.5% more damage. So average is good. Temperature is fair. You're having a good day then, author, aren't you? Friends, we got the legendary bear. <laughs> oh, I'm excited. We gotta sell that thing or something. Or use it for crafting. Can we do anything else with this? <laughs> Let's just fucking step right on the meat. Hey, Brucey. I don't think we can do anything with this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're fucking skinned the head off, too. Okay, I don't think we can. Alright, well... There, let's boy. get on Brucey. Alright? And I want to explore. Oh, it's got an X out here. I want to explore... Oh! There was the symbol for the tracker right there. Trapper. I called it a tracker. Well, before we go to this trapper... Damn, well, after we go to the trapper, I think we should head back to camp and start another quest. I was thinking about going to Valentine and doing that bounty, which I might. Make a decision before... Because, well, Valentine's pretty far. Actually, it's about the same distance as camp, really, if you think about it. Let's make our way to this trapper. I have a feeling we will probably get into some stuff. Actually, to be honest, I kind of want to go up here and see what's going on. What's up, Brucey? <laughs> what is up here? Could this be a cave? 
Oh. You gonna go inside that thing? You hear Arthur? He's like singing. Coming. Okay, Brucey, I'm gonna... I'm gonna hit you to this piece of grass. Should we go in here? Friends, it's a... Railroad. Let's not. Let's not. Let's go back to the horse. I don't want to get mauled. Come on, boy. As in, I don't want to get ran the fuck over from a train. <laughs> Let's go to this trapper. And then see about either going back to camp. And doing that. Or heading to Valentine again. Before I headed out of camp, though, when I restarted Jose's mission is to get a refresher. I really needed it. I did the chores. Look, there's a train now. Friends, we would have got destroyed by that train. Alright, well, there is a house over here. Wait. Where are you? Is that bears? Oh, that's like an elf. Let me see where this house is. There's like a lodge here. All right, it's just straight down this road then. Easy peasy. Let's get some exploring in. You wanna race, sucker? Hey, partner! All right, Brucey. Stay here by this tree. Hold it down. I wanna see what's going on here. What is that? Oh, we can't get any... I don't think we can kill another animal right now. I mean, we can, but we're not going to be able to stow it on Brucey. Well, we got to get the other Brucey. <laughs> the other Brucey's stabled, yeah? I believe that's what the tutorial said, but we're going to have to name him something else. <laughs> we can't name it Brucey and the other, other Brucey. We can name it other Brucey. <laughs> Brucey and other Brucey. Sure. Why not? Any, anyone home? I just came in and started fucking looting. <laughs> Gun oil? Oh, yes. That is something we need to do as well. We need to actually start cleaning our weapons. Brucey and other fucking Brucey. What the hell? Canned vegetables? If anyone is here, they are just watching us. What is this? You a woman killer, not a turncoat. Your own brother? I'm a good man. <laughs> oh, you're okay, wasting your blood. That's like your brother just charged yeah. you up when he had a chance. Let's go. Please, you gotta believe me. I'm the wrong man. He's the wrong man. <laughs> what are we supposed to do here? Taking this one in. Stay out of our way. Somebody help me! Hey! Look at you two-dollar bounty hunters. Take him down! Yeah. Oh! Yeah, son! Damn, I didn't mean to shoot the horse! Fuck! You shot the horse! Please, I'm not a bad man. Pull my arm. Hedge! Wait! He was shooting me though! What the fuck? What just happened? Friends, we killed a fucking horse! Cut free. Any bodies found and reported and lawman dispatched to investigate, hide, or dispose of the bodies. Friends, I didn't want to. I can't believe we killed that fucking Jesus. horse. Thank you. They had me mixed up with my brother. There's a high rolling poker game above the Saint Denis gunsmith. Hopefully, that can serve as a thank you. Shot robbery? Robbery tip? <laughs> we got a robbery tip. Fucking hell, man. It wasn't worth it, though. Saint Denis robbery? Saint Denis gunsmith. Rumor has it that a gunsmith in Saint Denis is running a profitable gambling operation. Look around the shop to investigate. Well, let's loot the corpses. 
Why not? We gotta hide the other body. What is the other body? The other guy was shooting at us. Or we had to hide all the... <laughs> Should loot the stranger. <laughs> Fuck it. Hey, you were, you were shooting at us. Pick up. Fucking hell. More... Are you serious right now? How? Friends, come on, how? I guess you can't loot at all. But he was fucking shooting at us. Should we have intervened? I don't know if it was worth intervening there. Yeah, we got a tip on a place, but... There you go. I'm gonna put you right here. Oh, he's not on the main road. That's something, I guess. Come on, Brucey. Man, that... That wasn't... I don't know. I feel a bit dirty right now. I feel... I feel beyond dirty. Amberino? We killed a person and a horse. How you doing? Okay there. Horse-based inbred! <laughs> what do you call us? horse bright. What? <laughs> Devil in hell! Oh, shit. I think we can fuck out. Horse what about the other... <laughs> He's calling us an inbred. <laughs> Friends. How you Devil doing? Hell. Don't mind me! Nothing to see here. <laughs> Let's go back to looting this. Damn it, man. Things happen. We gotta, you know? I'm sure we're not the only person in the whole history of playing Red Dead has accidentally killed an animal. <laughs> Unfortunately. The other guy, though. I mean... He... He shot at us first. We were killing the other guys. Yeah, we started a row, but maybe ultimately doing what we did, um, because we broke that guy free. Maybe that's what gave us dishonor. Possibly. Well, looting that guy gave us dishonor, of course. But look at all the stuff that we're getting. That's something up there. Pardon, pardon, pardon. You can't carry any more of these. Cover scent lotion? Oh. Okay, we must have gun oil. Let's figure out how to clean our weapons then. Maintain. Here we go. Oh, this one's actually in pretty good shape. We haven't really used a shotgun, but let's clean it anyway. Let's see what it's like. I can imagine the pistol's probably seen better days. Yeah. Man, I feel so terrible right now. <laughs> I feel absolutely terrible. Just... I feel like that's the second horse that we really hurt. Remember the one episode when I was saying hi to that one guy? And I just ran right into the fucking horse. <laughs> Alright, let's put this back. That horse lived, though. Casualties? Of war? Innocent bystanders. Poor thing. Let's do this one. Maintain. Clean. Oh my word. Yeah, this one definitely needs to be clean. Look at it. Look at it. It's coming up. Oh, that's slick. That is so awesome. Well, there we go. I guess I wasn't knowing what to expect there. Since we were going to fight someone. Can we actually maintain the bow? No, we can't maintain the bow. I think that's probably good. That's the only weapons we have on us right now anyway. So, our dead eye is a bit, um, well, seen better days. But let's go ahead and take some stuff. Provisions. I don't think we need to eat right now. I think we're good. Tonics. How about we do... Health core, no. Snake oil. There we go. Does that eye come back over on itself? Possibly. I don't know if it... 
Wild carrots. There we go. Hmm. See, the dead eye's not coming back up on its own here. Or maybe it will in time. Resting, possibly. Herbivore bait. Predator bait. This was definitely a hunter shack. For sure. We done looted it up. If anybody is in here, well, they're going to come back home. And they're going to be looted out. You gotta lock your doors when you leave, though, yeah? <laughs> you never know when an author will come and just take it all up. <laughs> Jin, there you go. Alright, let's head to, um... Let's try to head to this trapper now. I feel like it's going to be... I just had Brucey's pooping! There you go, Brucey! Look at this guy. Hey, you gonna be friendly? Don't worry about them corpses on the road. Wasn't me. Hey, partner. How you doing, partner? Howdy. Wanna... That's a fine horse you got there. Thank you, Tom. What the hell? I just... You know what? Forget about it. <laughs> I'm just talking to you. This ain't <laughs> all like past time. <laughs> I think we cut him off. Road rage. <laughs> you want to die, huh? No, no. Don't want to fight. Yeah. Fucking ran a deer over! <laughs> I don't want to fight you. <laughs> what the fuck's going on? We can't remotely walk next to anybody, ride next to anybody. Look, I was just coming over here because, well, let's go over here, shall we? Friends, look at over here. It looks like me. Damn, Brucey, you got some skill, sir. You hear that? It could be another bear somewhere. But it looks like there may be a cave over here. Let's be honest. Oh, Hunter's Camp. Hey, be off with you. Look, what do I got? Why don't you just leave? Just minding my own business. Right. I'm getting out of here. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm gonna kill somebody else. I hope you make it. I'm just gonna run. Have a have fun. Let's not kill him. Let's fucking just go. Yeah, he fought us first, but let's just roll out. He's still shooting at us. Hey, someone's firing back there. You want? <laughs> you hear that yeah. shit? Haul ass, man. Guy's crazy. Something's going on with him. Don't want no part of that. <laughs> this game is fucking crazy. Look, I need to get back down. I need to get back down that route. So... I guess he didn't want us by his camp. I didn't want to kill him because I don't know if we're going to get more dishonor stuff. I mean, we could have ran really fast and maybe try to tackle him and then punch him. Knock him out. But he fired at us first. Yeah. Look, we're still, it's still right on the map. <laughs> Alright, if there was a cave over there, we can't do it. That guy's over there guarding it. Like a hawk. Should we try to go back? Hold on. Let's look at the map. He's still... Look, he's fucking pissed. He's like, I know that mother effer's here somewhere, and I'm gonna get him. Alright. Let's be honest, though. I have a feeling if there was a cave, it might come up on the map somewhere. So I wanted to check out and see if we can catch some fish and stuff. Well... Let's just play it safe. The honor, look at the honor. We're doing really good, actually. Really, really good. I want to play it safe. I don't want to kill anybody else. I'm fucking heartbroken that we had the incident with the horse. And the other people, oh, I think he done despawned off of us. He did. We can try to go back. Let's go to Trapper. 
I don't believe there was a cave over there. What a crazy game. I tell you, everything just ever changing. That's just the best thing I can explain about this game. Hello. Hey, oh! What the hell? Actually, you up, it ain't your road! How you doing? <laughs> he just pissed Bye, everybody off. <laughs> You're the motherfucker that was on the right side of the road. You gotta be on the left. Yeah, you were on the left side of the road. On your side of the road. You need to be on yep. the right side. Which is my left side. <laughs> At least we didn't run into him. <laughs> People do not fucking like us at the moment. Well, they look at this fucking tree! Have you ever seen a tree like this? No, we stopped the horse. You hear the turkeys? All right, Bruce, come on. Look at this tree. It's a four. Friends, that is so cool. I ain't never seen a tree like that. You hear the turkeys? Wait, there's something over there. I know I heard turkeys. Oh, it's a caravan. I'm still dumbfounded that that guy actually fought us. And if he was just a, a bystander, I guess? If you think about it, your horse is dirty. This will cause its health core to drain faster. Brush your horse and ride it through water to clean it. Oh, we gotta ride it through water. Can I just brush, Brucey? The water's back there by that crazy guy. Brucey's taking a shit again! Alright, we, well, we had to wait until Brucey was done pooping to, to brush the horse. Yeah, that's better, boy. There you go, boy. We gotta ride you through some water. I'm gonna brush you again. I can feed you. You gotta be hungry. There you go, Brucey! Oh, cakes, classic style. Brush him again. Loves it. Look at his mohawk. He's so cool. He's loving life. Did we study Brucey already? I'm pretty sure we already did. Yeah, we already read it. And yeah, we read it last episode. Alright, Brucey. I had to run you through some water, alright? Not here. Look at these trees. They're just crazy. Look, another person. Let's be careful. Get on your side of the road. <laughs> hey there, mister. Hi there. Just How you doing? admiring your horse there. Thanks. Not as good as mine, though. Let me stop the horse. Now. There we go. Okay, it's control to stop the horse. Yeah. Now I remember. All right, the trapper's right here. I'm going to get you off the road, though, Brucey. I don't want nobody to just come on by and steal you. Let's go say hi to this trapper. See about selling. Remove legendary. Let's remove it. Bespoke saddles delivered right to your stable. Oh, I know those scars anywhere. Looks like Barati met his match at last, huh? My congratulations. This is the trapper. He buys whole animals, skins, furs, hides, and feathers. You can also craft various clothing items from animals and pelts you sell. Well, he knows immediately who we are. Or not us in general, who this bear is. Let's go ahead and sell, huh? Okay, let's take a look at it. Legendary bear pelt. Friends, it's $60. That's awesome, but should we keep it for crafting? I think we should sell it. We need the money right now. Or we might miss out and not get a legendary bear again. He had nothing for crafting, though. But the legendary... One-of-a-kind pelts make one-of-a-kind garments. Worth sure the legwork, I assure you. Oh, okay, we sell it to him then. And then he makes stuff from it. And then we buy it. Oh. Here you go. Oh, I'd pay just about any price for this. I just want to give it to you. 
How about this? I have this poor rabbit hide. 46 cents, please. Awesome. You want these feathers? Have these feathers. Sure. Got a few of those, huh? They're vulture feathers, yeah. Great stuff. What is this? Herbivore bait? Gun oil. Herbivore bait. Cover scent. We have three of them. Predator bait. We have two. Mature venison. Big game meat. Carrying five of five. Dakota, tall trees, big valley, Roanoke. I run this stall just about everywhere. Best way to source the skins. Damn, it just got dark as hell. You still in business, even though it was dark? Tonics, ingredients, materials. I'll buy valuables. Let me go ahead and buy from you now. The trapper can now use legendary bear pelt to craft garments. Oh, that is sick. Answered the, uh, the question. Clothes around. Don't doubt it. Saddle items. Garment set. Bear hunter. Oh, I really can't see it that much because it's dark. Oh. Death roll. I'm gonna say, author. I don't want to buy anything right now. Oh, that's a hat. Look at the bear hat. The bear hunter. Thank you for this using that I fire. My fourth wife. You can buy all types of shit. Find a trail while the bloodhound was still sniffing its own ass. Hell of a woman. Rest her soul. Your fourth wife, he said. Reinforce equipment. Horseman. Herbalist. Oh, friends, look at this. He can reinforce our stuff. Herbalist gun belt. Master hunter. Complete. Oh, we got to complete challenges to actually get this guy. So, okay, the trapper's the big deal. He's one of the big deals for the hunting stuff then. We give him hides, and the more stuff that we get, the more achievements that we get as well, he starts unlocking stuff. See? Complete. Challenge Explorer 10. And then it gives us really cool looking gun belts and stuff. That's really slick. Gambler. Wish I never had to take my stall into the city. That one's a really nice. Gambler gun belt. Sharpshooter. Wait. Eighteen dollars for this one. Reinforced Bandit Lures increase ammo capacity for repeaters, rifle, and shotguns. Oh, it not only makes us look better, but it actually gives us stats and such. Okay, let's start at the top then and see if we have anything unlocked besides that. Oh man, some of this stuff is really nice, Logan. Sharpshooter. Bandolier. We're going to get this for sure, but I want to keep going through. Off holster. Oh, that one kind of looks, kind of looks basic, in well, my opinion. Kind of looks cheap. <laughs> if that makes sense. Seriously, doesn't it? Looks just kind of cheapish compared to that one. That one has like all types of little things to it. And it. Oh no, that one's badass. The black on black. Gambler. All right, gambler. We can't do nothing. Master hunter. We couldn't do nothing. Explorer, we couldn't do nothing. Herbalist, we couldn't do nothing. Let's go back to Sharpshooter and get the Bandolier. That's the right word. Yeah. Of folk want to <laughs> I Thank you. It puts it right on then. View. Oh, I'll kind of zoom out and view. Okay. Our reinforced equip. Oh, man. He has so much, though. The bear hunter. <laughs> Look, we can get the legendary bear hat. I don't really want to wear it, but it's probably unique to get because it's that. Legendary bear coat. Okay, look. You can make this one. Alright, and it's unique because it's got the scar there. I wonder if we walk away and it will still be there for later on. I just don't think I'm going to wear it ever. 
because I really like Arthur's hat itself. The cowboy hat. But... Hmm. I think we should leave it for now. The trophy buck. We can't do nothing with trophy buck. The dream catcher. Oh. Some of this stuff is really nice. The ghost bison. Stalker. Legendary ram hat. Right, there's legendary everything. This is going to be so cool. It is. Okay. I don't sell the stores. You want my wares? Right here's the one place to find them. That's what he's going to make. Reinforced equipment. We already got the reinforced equipment. Garment sets. It's a whole set then. Yeah. Some of these are just wild looking. Saddles. And we can't do anything with saddles. Perfect Panther. Look at the perfect. A lot of everything. Every one of his items is I tailored behind this hunting. All the way from here to the border, the northern border, that is. And I've never predator been bait? out of work. I'm oh, sure. Buy some you need this predator bait from you. Sure. Herbivore gun oil, rowing knives. Hey, trapper, it's been fun, but I got things to do. We got people to see, things to do. Let's head back to camp, I think. Let's make the trek back to camp since, what is this X on the map here? See the X's on the map? Or is that's not where we killed people? Corpses. Is it? No, we didn't kill people, there's corpses over there. Let's go loot them corpses. Let's go check it out, seriously. Go check it out, and then we'll head back to camp. And then next episode, we'll probably end up starting another main quest. As in, let's see, where's camp? Right here. We got... Hold on. Oh, Kieran. And... What was the other one over there? It was LS. Leopold Strauss, right? Yeah, Strauss and Kieran. Probably Kieran's next, I think. Because I'm pretty interested to see what's going to happen with Kieran. Look, we still got all these on the map. Billy Midnight, Black Bell. The bounty poster still has something in Valentine. But I kind of want to go back to camp before we go to Valentine because we just finished a main quest, kind of. And I wanted to talk to people. So that's the goal is to get back to camp here, but... We're a bit ways out and we're going to get sidetracked by all the good stuff. All right, Trapper, I really appreciate that. Thank you. The Trapper has a permanent shop in St. Denise. In addition to a traveling stall that can be found in the wilderness. I'm happy you are here because if I had to find you at this St. Denise. Look at our red or dead eye. It's still. Damn it. It's still not looking good. How do we bring up our dead eye? Miracle Tonic. Fully restores health, stamina, and Deadeye. And fortifies slightly. Oh. Fully restores Deadeye and fortifies it slightly. Did we just waste that? Because it said it fully restores. But the inner part is red. Is that because we have to sleep? I think we have to get rest. I want to be honest. I think Arthur needs rest. Alright, let's head... See what these corpses are about. Arthur sees corpses on the map. Arthur goes to the corpses. I really don't think it had anything to do with us. It might be something else. These corpses over here. Look at this tree. Yeah, we didn't come over here. We didn't do our shootout with them guys over here. Friends. Let's be careful. <laughs> These here are city folks. They're gonna have trinkets and all. I want food, not trinkets. Can't eat trinkets. Well, food don't go make you pretty. <laughs> you ain't never gonna be pretty. That ain't how you was acting last night. <laughs> you shut up about that. 
Good work, boy. Hey, look at his hat. Why, well, I look like a Sand Denny gentleman. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> you look just like one. But you sure don't smell like one. <laughs> well, yeah, well, I wouldn't want to smell like no city boy anyway. They smell like dinner to me. Take that stupid thing and let's go. Hey. Hey, where are you going? Whoa! Fuck! What the hell? Uh. Authors here. Anyone else want some? <laughs> I can oh, got friends, do you? Shit. <laughs> They're cannibals, aren't they? Got friends, do you? Look like a bunch of corpses now. They had to be cannibals. Did you hear them? Muffry? Murphy Brood? Murphy Brood? What the hell? Shotgun. I was gonna pull the shotgun out and just blast them. <laughs> fucking tackled that motherfucker! <laughs> Cigarettes. Arthur, you might need a smoke after that. Loot. Murphy Brood? Murphy's gotta be some kind of gang. You got friends, do you? Yeah, some kind of gang. I'm thinking it's uh one of the worst types. You know, cannibals. All the rest. I think he was talking about getting it on with each other, yeah? <laughs> the same. Should we loot the str oh man, I know we're gonna lose points, aren't we? Yeah. Okay, look. Now I know. We're just we're losing points. We can't loot random strangers. That's fine. It's probably not worth it anyway. Celery? Look, what happens if we take this celery? We can... We just can't loot the strangers. Any bodies that we see around, we can't loot. We can, we can loot bandits and such, probably. But they came over and killed these guys. I want that celery. You know what we can do? We can pitch camp, can't we? And sleep. Rest by fire. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. It's a learning experience, yeah. Don't loot corpses. Don't loot corpses of just strangers. You kill them, you can probably loot them. I can imagine if we're killing them, they're bad men. Of course, hair pomade. You picked up pomade. Use it to grease your hair. What's up? What's up, Arthur? No, don't pick the stranger up. Okay. Fine. Let's pick him up and put him over here. I'm not going to drop him off the mountain again. Don't worry. Let's put him here. I ain't looting that guy. Not doing it. But what I am going to do, is rest by the fire. See if we can rest until the morning. While resting at camp, you can access fire crafting. Fire crafting allows you to cook meat and make tonics. Cook, craft. Let's see what we can do. Plain venison? For sure. Let's cook it. And then we'll eat something. Oh, I missed this damn game. I love it because it's so just in-depth, friends. It truly is. Okay. What can we craft? We got tonics. Can we craft this stuff? Oh, we can craft it. Potent health. Let's do snake. 
We're crafting potent at snake oil. Stow it. Awesome. Let's go back. Learning the ropes. Split point revolver rounds. Pistol. Let's do split point. Let's see what split point does. I'm interested. Just one. I may have given a crap. Oh. This is going to be a whole ordeal, yeah? Okay. Well, we know. We're learning here. Taking it in. Fire bottle? Gin and animal fat. Make a fire bottle. I'll put that in our pack for later. Don't let it burn out. Hunting. I think we're hunting horse care. I love that we can just craft ammo. So crafting ammo... What does it do, though? It's obviously going to make it better. Of course. I get that. But... If you just get ammo in general... Say we have... We, we collected 189 in our travels. So no matter what, we can always turn it into split point. We don't need anything else. We just need the cartridges. One regular, and then we just come in, basically press the enter button about 189 times to upgrade that ammo. I wish there was a way to, auto, like, not auto, but possibly just, um, auto craft. Holding a button, and author kind of just keeps on crafting. Playing big game. Let's make this. And we can stow it. I feel like stowing cooked meat is probably better than stowing. We don't need to eat anymore. All right, let's cook another. Though so maybe we should actually keep some of this meat on us because we can give it to Pearson. Can we just give him cooked meat? Hey, Pearson, I cooked it, not you. Type of shit, huh? Let's not cook anymore. We'll give it to Pearson. We got plain big game. We still got three more of that. We should have probably kept that. Let's leave. Compendium updated. Fire bottle. Let's see what that is. A glass bottle filled with flammable spirits and topped with a cloth fuse. This explosive projectile will cause a large fire bottle on impact. Useful for setting fire to stage coasters or forcing people and animals to retreat. This weapon can be crafted by combining any type of alcoholic spirit with animal fat. Or purchased from some less than reputable sellers. Black market. Let me get that fire explosive bottle you got there. Alright, well, let's keep on going. Let's keep on trying to make it to camp. Look at that. Friends, there was corpses on the map. I knew it wasn't us that did anything with these corpses over here. And the game itself is letting us know, hey, you need to come check this out. Elysian pool? Ooh. I'm going to mark camp. Wait. That's a bit out of camp. Or shoot overlook. We got Horseshoe Overlook marked. The trek to get back to camp. But, I feel like we have so many random encounters here that... Yeah. Just... Always something going on. Come on, Brucey. Let's roll out of here. Yeah. We'll get back on the main road. And then... Wrecking back down and see what we can do. See if we can find anything else. It doesn't look like... Just looking at the map itself. A lot of this stuff is kind of... See, there's RS. Oh. Wait, no, that's... Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, because it's like the fog of war here. It's basically just fogged out. And we're not going to be able to 
see anything until we actually explore it. All right, well, let's just keep on trekking then. Actually, can we get down here? I feel like there might be something interesting under a bridge. I mean, you never know. It feels like a great spot to hide, like, a chest. Or just nothing. No, nothing itself. Nothing there. Okay, boy. Actually, what I'm going to do is... Let's look and see if we can actually read anything else in progress. Because next episode we'll come in and start exploring again and get back to camp. So let's look at progress. Story. Chapter 2. Hold on. After a break in the weather, the gang have headed down from the mountains and are now hiding at Horseshoe Overlook. We got that. Exit pursued by a bruised ego. And that's what we just did with Hosea. After spotting a huge bear up by the Dakota River, Jose and Arthur ride out and track it. Okay. He's a piece of... We're all caught up, though, on most of that stuff. There were some things in... Total completion, maybe? Remember, we left off on cigarette cards in, like, episode three. I think it was. When we were reading all this stuff. Treasure Hunter. There is another way to make your fortune, by digging up someone else's. Find treasure hunts around the world and follow the clues to complete one treasure hunt chain. Dream catchers. Yeah, this is... We've seen something in the Trapper's store about dream catching, and I didn't really understand what that was meaning. Because dream catchers are like, dream catchers, yeah? And I'm thinking to myself, well, what could that be? Maybe, like, crafting them, possibly? Find the ingredients to, like, craft them? Components? If you look up from time to time, you may notice something hanging in the trees. Find all 20 dream catchers and note their positions and see what you think. Oh, so we got to look in the trees. Oh, it's good that we're reading this because I had, had no clue about that. We would never would have found out about that unless we actually found it. Animals. Learn to live among predators and prey in the wilds of America. Discover 50 animals. See the animal section of the compendium to track your progress. Equipment. There's more to an outlaw than the gun slung across their back. Obtain 10 pieces of equipment, see the equipment section of the compendium, and track your progress. Fish. The rivers, lakes, and swamps are teeming with life. Discover 10 species of fish. See the fish section in the compendium to track your progress. We need a fishing pole. I wanted to go over to that lake and possibly fish. I was thinking about shooting it with a bow. If we could, but... There was just... We need a fishing rod, I think. I think we would just waste our arrows. I don't want to waste our arrows. Gangs. The time of American Outlaw might have ended, but a few gangs still survive chaos and inspiring terror. Encounter all six enemy gangs. See the gang section in the compendium to track your progress. We have two gangs. O'Driscoll's. And maybe... The... Gang that we just... The cannibal that we just seen there. Or maybe it's the Pinkertons. Horses. Horses can be found both domesticated and roaming wild. Discover 10 breeds of horse. See the horses section of Compendium. Track your progress. Plants. The world is wild. And nature can kill or cure. Collect 20 plants. That's pretty self-explanatory. And this one... With 63 unique weapons to be found... The choice is yours. Use at least 48 weapon types. Whoa. We use 10. Horse bonding. Every outlaw needs a companion they can trust, a mount who can be relied on to speed them out of chaos or fearlessly ride them straight into it. Reach the maximum bonding level with a horse you own. Brucey, e, me and you. Challenges. It takes skill, knowledge, and a quick trigger finger to survive and thrive in the harsh land. Prove your worth and complete all nine challenges. Interesting. Shacks? Several shacks can be found across the land. Unremarkable structure, but each with their own strange secret to hide. Discover five shacks. Oh, legendary animals. We got one of five. There are whispers of one of a kind animals living out in the wilderness. Tales are told around campfires where hunters gather. Some are beautiful, some are deadly. Each would be a valuable prize for any outdoorman. 
Track down and kill five legendary animals. Table games? If you tire of bloodshed, there are gentler pursuits out there to engage in. Find table games in the town or sit down and play with fellow gang members. Play one game of poker, blackjack, dominoes, and five-finger fillet. Ranters, ravers, and campaigners. We have three of five of this. At the turn of the century in America, mindsets are shifting, adapting, and breaking. The towns and wilds are filled with particular characters who just want to talk to you about it. Find and interact with five of these ranters, ravers, and campaigners. Well, we already got the bath. We already went to a show. We got the theater. How many more? Oh, this is it. Theater. St. Denis Theater offers Bonneville. Shows for the curious and degenerate. Escape artists, fire eaters, and snake dancers await. Oh, we gotta visit a theater and recipes. For those who prosper in the wilderness are skillful and self-sufficient, cook one cooking recipe, one tonic, one type of ammunition, one hunting item, one horse care item, and one weapon. We got five of six. We need to do probably the horse care item, I think. Robberies. Any thug can rob a man, but a real professional thief Lots for bigger targets. Complete one coach robbery, one home robbery, one shop robbery, and one train robbery. We have no robberies because we're a softy. We're 12%. Cool. Well, that's really interesting. And if you think about it, what really was intriguing to me was the shacks. We gotta look for these shacks on the map. So, where are we at? We are right here let's mark this next episode we're gonna go to the shack here this might be another shack too we might explore these two areas here before we actually head back to camp because i think these shacks might actually be marked on the map just don't know yeah and then we'll head back to camp and start i think kieran's quest is the next one or we'll head back to camp talk to people then go do some bounties I'm thinking since we go back to camp, we do our things around camp, talk to people, maybe pick up more stuff. We'll hunt on the way there. And then... Probably do Karen's quest. But anyways, my friends, I'm out of here. Have a good one. Stay safe. See you next time. Take care.